Tell us what happened. <laughs> it's, Please. It's, kind it's of very cool. important to it's tell the world. Cool. You know, you, don't, you, you understand that. It's kind of cool. In the middle of London, you know, uh, this kind of you know, coup is not going to happen. Locked out of the embassy, Myanmar's former ambassador. Okay. You can see that, you know, they, they, they occupy my building. Cho Zamin spent Wednesday night in his car after he was asked by Myanmar's military to leave the embassy building along with his staff. On Thursday, Min was back, outside at least, calling on the British government not to recognise Myanmar's new envoy in London and to send him home. So how did it come to this? Last month, Cho Zamin criticised Myanmar's military and called for ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi to be released. On Thursday, he gave this statement through a spokesperson. Due to his announcement in March, the ambassador has been recalled by the Myanmar military regime. Since then, he stopped following instructions from Myanmar foreign ministry. And he has been meeting with many diplomatic counterparts and Myanmar community to discuss the current situation in Myanmar hoping to find a peaceful solution. British Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab posted on Twitter, We condemn the bullying actions of the Myanmar military regime in London yesterday, and I pay tribute to Cho Zha Min for his courage. The UK continues to call for an end to the coup and the appalling violence and a swift restoration of democracy. <laughs> Myanmar's military took power on the 1st of February, leading to weeks of protests. More than 600 people are reported to have been killed. So former Ambassador Cho Zha Min is out of the embassy and out of a job. And it appears his former Deputy Ambassador has taken over. The Myanmar military says Min has been recalled home. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, London.